Okay, so I've been using my laser for about three months now. I've been really happy with it. Let me give you a few things that I've done to, well, make the laser cutting experience on an inexpensive laser less painful. As a matter of fact, mine works great. Okay, first off, you'll notice that I removed the metal table. There were four screws that came out and then there were four screws on the actual bottom of the laser. I simply pulled that off and I made a new table. Um, now of course it's wood so that doesn't work too well, right? So what I did is I went and bought a piece of aluminum. Uh, very thin, cost about 11 bucks, had it cut to the size I wanted and I used that as a base so that the laser doesn't go through and hit the MDF. And then I also cut some pieces. Instead of making a, uh, a Z-axis table, I just cut some thin pieces that I layer in here as I put different thicknesses of material in. Now one of the things I've seen people uh, wonder a lot about is your honeycomb tables. Do you need one? A absolutely if you're going to be cutting uh, through material. Uh, it's very important. So do you go buy a honeycomb uh, material? I have some. It's expensive. Yes. Does it work real great? I don't think it works real great on this model machine. But I found something that works absolutely fabulous. It's cheap. And uh, boy, I like it more than using honeycomb on this little table here. Um, well, here it is. I'm going to show it to you. You can find these at any Home Depot or Lowe's. They're about 37 cents a piece. They come in various sizes. This is the biggest, but let me show you. I have several, and you can just lie them down on your table. Sorry, this one's a little dirty. And uh, perfect. I mean, they really are. They work really well. Again, here's a different size. I'm going to be cutting something here soon. You know, voila, it's going to work perfect. The other thing you'll see here is I have a nozzle. Okay, This is for my air assist. If you're going to be cutting, that's going to be important too. Um, I went to Harbor Freight and got this airbrush kit. And basically what it has is it has a thin hose and it comes up to a converter. Um, you will need an air compressor. Harbor Freight sells little air compressors for about... Uh, Oh, 60 bucks. Uh, don't get a pancake compressor. They just don't push out enough air. You need a larger one or an airbrush compressor. Um, should work pretty good too. I already had a, uh, uh, I don't know, it's like a five gallon air compressor. And so that's what I'm using. So you will hook this up to your air compressor and you'll get air. Um, I'll cut something here in a minute and you'll see its effect. Now, I've done something really inexpensive here. All this right here is right here is a, a pen. Um, that I cut in half and actually electrical taped it and it's worked fabulous. I've had it set up like that for over a month and uh, haven't had any issues. Well that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna cut something here in a moment and uh, anyway hope this uh, not necessarily tutorial but these little tidbits will help you uh, decide whether you want to get one of these baby lasers.